Hello and welcome to the Caravan and Motorhome Club's online virtual club week. Where I'm going to be talking to friends and colleagues to find out everything you'll need to know about touring this year and next. Okay, we may not be able to travel overseas at the moment, but that shouldn't stop us from having dreams and plans and preparing ourselves for when the moment is upon us to travel safely. That's why it's now time to talk to Martin and Carol from Travel Services and also to James from Emergency Services so we know how we can do it safely. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi Matt. Good, thank you. I'm going to start with you, uh, Carol. Obviously, things are changing all the time. And I imagine that you and the team have to meet almost every week and have an update, or even every day, have an update on what we can and can't do. How are you coping with that? I'm just interested to know. Yeah, well, it's not been easy, uh, that's for sure. And you're absolutely right. We do meet uh, well, more than once a week to uh, discuss the changes that are coming thick and fast. Uh, but we're managing uh, and we've got used to it now. Uh, we can't travel at the moment, obviously. Um, and, you know, again, when we can travel, uh, it, it's difficult to know exactly what restrictions are going to be in place. Can you cast any light on it at the moment, what that might look like at the point when we can go? Yeah, I mean, at the moment, you're absolutely right. It's just so uncertain up and down all the time and very tight restrictions, uh, obviously, at the moment for very good reason. Um, but hopefully once we get the restrictions uh, lifted a little bit, uh, we might see uh, we need to have show proof of negative uh, COVID tests before we travel and self-isolation may still be in place when we either go to Europe or come home from Europe. Um, but we're hoping the testing uh, regime will come in, um, the cost will come down, and that will be a way that we can get travel going again, when the time's right, obviously. Yeah. Um, do we, uh, you know, is there a situation where people can start to plan for a trip now? Is it worth booking? Where would you, you know, what kind of advice would you give to people about this summer? Uh, I mean, the very simplest piece of advice that we can give is to book a package holiday. So booking a package, you're covered under the package travel regulations. So if the FCDO um, does still advise against travel when just before you're due to depart um, to your destination, then you are entitled to a full refund if you've booked a package. And just for us in club terms, a package is a ferry plus a campsite uh, booked at the same time uh, as a package. Um, if you book it independently, you don't have that uh, sort of security, if you like, um, of a package. So it's really best book a package, uh, book through the club. So if you do want to amend um, your date of departure, then we can do that. There'll be no club amendment fees for you. And of course, booking with the club, you're getting uh, really good prices, a really good choice of sites, and all the campsites are COVID secure um, inspected sites that you'll be going to across Europe. I was going to say, I mean, we did have that, that brief period, it feels like now, in, in last summer where we could travel. Um, what were the reports that you were getting back from people about the experience that they were having? And what does that tell us about what it might be like um, if we can travel again this summer? Yeah, I mean, really good reports all round from both the going across on the ferry, um, there was enhanced cleaning, the passenger numbers, they've reduced and restricted the numbers to ensure that there is plenty of space on board the ships. And um, there's obviously plenty of fresh air coming through on the ships. Um, and on Eurotunnel, you have to stay in your vehicle. So again, there's no chance of you mixing with people um, when you're on the on the tunnel. And in terms of the campsites, very similar to uh, what you would expect here in the UK, you know, face masks around, social distancing in place. Um, the facilities were mostly open, so swimming pools, sports facilities, bars, restaurants, they were all open just with restricted uh, capacity at times, just to make sure that there is enough distance between people. Um, and that was the same, we, well, what we we're expecting this year, similar things, even with kids clubs or entertainment programs, some of those did still happen 
where the site could really maintain social distancing. So it was completely safe. Uh, I know it's an area where the, the club has expanded and, and grown its offering over the years. Has this changed that? You know, have we seen it shrink or are there new sites coming online? Yeah, well, we've got two new sites this year. So we've got a total of 310 campsites across 14 countries in Europe. Um, and the two new sites we've got, one is uh, Le port en ray which is on the Ile de Ray, which is a beautiful island, a really small island just off the Atlantic coast of France. Uh, and the other one is Domaine de Verdun, which is down in southern France at the uh, by the Verdun Gorge. Um, so really beautiful sites in really amazing places around Europe. So um, really looking forward to getting members out to those, hopefully, in the summer. Uh, we have a new relationship with the, the EU now. Um, you know, it's, it's like, OK, that's dealt with COVID. Now let's talk about this. How does that change uh, things for, for, for people thinking of touring in the EU this summer? Yeah, well, having a deal certainly made it uh, less complicated or less complex, but there's still a few uh, bits and pieces that members really ought to know about. Uh, all the details are on the club website um, or, of course, on the gov.uk website. But just briefly, the key point is your personal documentation. So passport, just check that you've got six months left on your passport before you travel. Um, and also the EHIC card, that's the European Health Insurance card. Um, we had thought those wouldn't be valid, but actually they are going to remain valid until their expiry date. And then they'll be replaced by a, a global health insurance card, so a, a GHIC. But the key point to note, the big change, is that it no longer covers Switzerland. So if you are going to go to Switzerland, um, I mean, the club always recommended that you don't rely solely on EHIC and you do have travel insurance, but, uh, but now it's even more important, especially if you're going to uh, Switzerland, make sure you've got travel insurance because you cannot rely on your EHIC or GHIC cover. There's a few other things, things like your vehicles, make sure you've got a GB uh, identifier on your vehicle. Uh, you need a green card as proof of insurance. Um, and of course, many members take their pets uh, with them. It's a really great way to ensure your pets get a holiday as well. Um, so the EU pet passport is no longer valid. Um, you just need to get an animal health certificate now from your vet. Um, so contact your vet and they will issue that certificate 10 days before or within 10 days of your travel date. And one other key thing, sorry, Matt, that is really important for members. I don't know, you've probably uh, heard about it on the news about uh, the freight drivers' ham sandwiches uh, being taken off them at the, at the port. So that's a, it's a, it is a big thing for our members because a lot of people going out, they, uh, you know, pack up some food for their journey or for the first few nights uh, whilst they're away. So you cannot take any meat or dairy products uh, into the EU or fruit and vegetables. So members just might need to factor in a little bit of shopping time when you get across to the EU um, before you make way the rest of your journey. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's much more exciting buying your groceries over there anyway. Um, oh, but, it is, yeah. Yeah, but that's going to be part of the plan now. Thank you so much, Carol. Hiya, James, are you there? How you doing, Matt? I'm well, I'm here. I'm, I'm good, thank you very much. Carol was there talking about um, the importance of, of making sure your insurance is, is part of your plans as well, on top of EHIC, GHIC. Um, it, it's probably worth talking about Red Pennant then, uh, in that context. Uh, just, just tell me where you see that, how important you see that for somebody who's considering um, travelling overseas with their outfit. Uh, immensely important Matt. absolutely i mean red pennant is the club's own european breakdown cover and european travel insurance um so we look after kind of all elements of of the travel now it's operated for over 50 years we've been providing service to, to members you know should they have any kind of mishaps or situations abroad in which they need our help um and it, red pennant's quite unique in the sense that it's designed for motoring holidays involving cars and caravans or or motorhomes um, and we kind of put those vehicles and that type of holiday at the forefront of everything that we do. Um, 
So combining the elements of vehicle breakdown and travel insurance means that members and policyholders can have peace of mind should anything go wrong. Um, in, in any circumstance, we've got our own emergency services team that can be contacted and they are you know, immensely experienced. Uh, they're multilingual and they understand the need um, and the potential challenges of this type of holiday when something goes wrong. So Red Pennant's kind of aim overall is to allow for, for people's holidays to continue should something go wrong. Um, but where that's not possible, we can look at repatriating people back to the UK and then looking after their outfits as well. When, you know, you're going on a holiday like this, when you're touring, I mean, it seems absolute common sense, doesn't it, to have your travel insurance and your breakdown cover with the same people, because it's com they're completely intertwined. Your needs are going to be, you know, the same, really, from those two parts of, of, of the cover that you're looking for. Yeah, you, you're dead right, Matt, absolutely. I mean, it, it makes total sense. I mean, you know, as I say, we, we combine breakdown assistance and recovery within Europe with, with travel insurance as well. Now, we do offer those as standalone products. Um, and actually, people may think, well, I've got my breakdown cover with, with supplier A elsewhere, and I've got my travel insurance through somebody else as well. But actually, when something goes wrong, if someone's taken ill and they're not able to drive, or if there's been an incident with the car, you know, how, how well do those two entities interact with each other to make sure everything gets resolved? And that's, you know, that's what we really focus on doing. So by far and away, our most popular level of cover is the combined motoring and personal cover. And it means exactly that, you know, that, that we, can, we can make sure that everything leads on to the next step. Um, so as an example, you know, if, if, if the main driver of the party was taken ill and un unable to drive, not only will we take care of their medical needs for them, um, whatever that may be but if they then needed to be flown home or if they needed to you know if they could come home uh, by other means um, we would then take care of, of the outfit so let's say they had to fly home or let's say they could be driven home but there was no one else in the party that was prepared to tow the caravan or to drive the motor home um, we would take care of getting the outfit back for them so it just it links everything together really nicely and it just offers that overall service but also people have the reassurance that should anything go wrong, whether it's with the car, the caravan, the motorhome or themselves, there's one number to call and one team to speak to. And that's a team that's based within, within the club. Um, you know, they're all caravanners themselves and they, they will make sure that they look after those members to, to, to get them the, the assistance they need. Um, talking insurance, uh, I've noticed during this, this last year how initially insurers basically would not insure for anything COVID related. And then gradually, I think the market recognised that that's what people need right now. So maybe we should supply it. Um, where is the club's insurance right now? Where's Red Pennant particularly on that score? No, yeah, again, it's a really good point. And actually, you know, we're in a very good position for our members now in terms of what we can offer uh, around COVID. I mean, quite early on into the pandemic, uh, we were able to include cover for medical emergency and repatriation. So should anyone get taken ill from COVID-19 whilst they're away, um, they could be reassured that their costs for, for treatment um, and for coming home if needed would have been covered. Um, that remains in place now, but on top of that, we've now been able to add cancellation cover uh, for COVID-19. Um, should anyone test positive prior to the departure, uh, then we'd be able to, to cover cancellation costs for them there. We've also been able to add um, curtailment cover, which would mean that if anyone was denied boarding um, on, the, on their outward journey um, due to failing a medical screening test or even displaying symptoms of having COVID, then we could look to, to cover their lost transport and accommodation costs and actually then look at alternative costs where, where, that, you know, where that comes into it as well. Likewise, if someone was away, Matt, and they needed to, to come home or they were coming back as planned, but then they were denied boarding on their return home, then we'd be able to actually help towards alternative accommodation costs that they weren't expecting because they've been told they can't get on the ferry or the train uh, or even on a plane if they're taking that type of holiday. Um, so, you know, we feel like we've really kind of been able to, to wrap in a package now that will cater for members' needs, but not, not only for the insured parties, but that will also extend um, to people that might not be insured under the cover. So, you know, for example, if an immediate relative or someone that you live with or even someone that you're going to go and stay with has contracted COVID-19 prior to your trip starting, 
the cancellation cover would still apply. So it's trying to look at, you know, what the different scenarios might be around uh, reasons people can't take their trips for COVID um, and make sure that we've got some form of protection around that. One, one key point in that is that it's really important for everybody to understand that the Foreign and Commonwealth and Development Officers advice is in place. And if, if they're advising against all or all but essential travel, then unfortunately there's no cover under the policy at all. We can't, we can't provide any of those benefits whilst that advice is in place. But that's where it really becomes important from what Carol said about booking a package through the club. Because if the advice is not to travel, then you will be able to get a refund on that package. And not only that, if you've taken a red pennant single trip policy and you can't travel because of the government advice, we'll make sure we refund that premium to you so that you're not out of pocket on your insurance or on the trip that you've booked. Of course, if the government say you can travel, um, then that's where the insurance really steps in if you get ill before you go. Um, so it, it's really making sure members are looked after. I mean, it is the, the, the whole principle is taking the gamble out of booking, isn't it? So that, that if you do book and things change, things go wrong, then um, you've got that back up and that peace of mind, which means you can, you can book and dream uh, with a degree of confidence. Uh, James, thank you so much. Uh, it's time to bring in Martin now because, uh, you know, I think most of us now are absolutely gagging um, for an exciting holiday, Martin. And, and I always love talking to you um, because it means you're going to tell me about some beautiful far-flung places. And we are allowed to dream at the moment, aren't we, if nothing else? Yeah, definitely. I think we all need to dream, Matt. Um, I know very much, you know, I've had thoughts going through my head of where do I want to go, what do I want to see? And I think having that to look forward to can really help everybody through at the moment. Um, you mentioned the holidays that we offer. So we've got our worldwide holidays, which we've been running for a number of years now. Um, and they take you from Australia and New Zealand through to North America and also to Southern Africa, so to countries like Botswana and Namibia and even Zambia to see Victoria Falls. And all of our holidays are actually on sale for 2022 already. So you've got that option to dream, look, look forward and plan ahead and you know, have a worldwide holiday to look forward to once life can get a bit, a bit back to some more normality. Um, so, yeah, definitely something to look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. Are, are you getting uh, an idea at this stage, you know, where people might be thinking about going in, in 2022? Yeah, sure. Um, New Zealand's proving really popular for um, early 2022, so their summer. So January, February, March next year, we're seeing a lot of demand there. It's such an amazing country with so much to do. Obviously, it's our winter, but their summer. So, yeah, you're getting two summers in a row if you're lucky enough to do that um you know great people very friendly amazing culture and some of the best scenery in the world with not much driving in between so that's really driving forward and then later moving forward further into 2022 um southern africa is actually proving really popular um you know we're hearing a lot from members who are wanting to get out there to see the wildlife that's out there experience the different cultures so that's really proving you know a slightly unexpected demand there from members but great to see and yeah we're looking forward to them being able to enjoy it uh, you say we get two summers in a row but i feel like we're owed one at least one summer from last year so we're allowed that right we can have two summers we just keep going uh, the 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 most exciting bit is when you tell me if we've got anything new uh planned for i i say 2021 but more likely 2022 isn't it yeah, yeah. So we've got a number of new tours. They are available for both years. So yeah, we do have members booking for later this year. Um, and we're all hoping that the vaccine rollout will allow that to happen. But definitely as well for 2022, if you want to plan that bit further ahead. Um, one of the ones we're really excited about is the tour we've called our Ultimate New Zealand Tour. So we already had um, holidays to New Zealand that were between three and five weeks. But the Ultimate New Zealand goes that bit further, like the name says, and it's an eight week tour of the country. So really giving you a chance to explore and experience the, everything that New Zealand's got to offer. Gives you time to get off the beaten track a bit more. Um, and we've partnered that with uh, luxury motorhomes that are all less than two years old to make sure you've got the comfort you'd expect in your motorhome and the chance to see such an amazing country. So that's one of the ones we're really excited about. 
We've also introduced a few new options for the USA. So we've got uh, New England, Alaska, and the Deep South, which are all very different places. New England, everybody's probably heard about the fall, the autumn colours as the foliage on the trees turns to some amazing colours. So we've got that in, in there now for people to go in the September, October time. This one I'm, look, I'm looking at in my notes here feels like it was actually designed for me. The Rhythms of the South Tour, New Orleans, Memphis, Nashville. Thank you very much. Sign me up. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you love your music, then that's a brilliant tour for you. So, you know, you've just named those cities there, all famous for different types of music, from blues and jazz and rock and roll and country music in Nashville. You know, such a range of options there, some great experiences to go and soak up the history of that those music. You know, um, people might have heard of the uh, Million Dollar Quartet, the musical, you know, that's all set, in, you know, comes from that part of the world in Memphis where those guys meet and those events took place. So, yeah, it's a fantastic part of the world to go to and great experience. Uh, fabulous stuff. Any others for us outside of the US? Yeah, one other um, that we've introduced for 2021, 2022 is uh, Sri Lanka in the Indian Ocean. So not necessarily the first place that members might think of when they're looking for a holiday with a motorhome. But yeah, we've got a brand new tour there. It's an escorted group tour. So you've got the comfort and support of tour leaders who know the destination. But you've also got free time in between to mix around. And Sri Lanka is such an amazing country. You've got amazing beaches. You've got national parks, tea plantations, and some great wildlife there as well. Um, lots of leopards and elephants, uh, which Sri Lanka is famous for. So Really excited about that one and uh, something I'd love to get myself out there if I get the opportunity. As much as uh, it's the deep south for me, my missus has always wanted to go to Sri Lanka. So, you know, that would be very popular if I came home. That's probably the one, that's the one we'll end up doing, actually, Martin. That's what it's, um, it all sounds terribly exciting. Thank you uh, for allowing us to dream and plan, Martin. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And um, lovely to speak to you both as well, Carol and James. And, you know, overseas travel, it's going to happen again. We're going to be ready to do it. And um, we'll, we'll end up doing it safely. Um, you know, safe in the arms of the club, looking after us as ever. Yeah, definitely. That's what we're all hoping for. You take care, guys. Speak to you again very soon. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Bye. Bye.